How's it going guys? We have a difficult question for hematology step one, internal medicine to CK. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. Really appreciate it. Give me a like, really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram, melman underscore medical, mehl man underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to Telegram group and channel down below. Let's start the clip. Six-year-old boy, one month history of generalized lymphadenopathy and fatigue. Playlist count 100,000. Normal range 150 to 450,000. Hemoglobin 11 grams per deciliter should be 13 to 17.5 in males and non-menstruating women, 12 to 17.5 menstruating women. Blood smear is shown. Question wants to know which the is most likely seen as patient. So arguably a more difficult question because we're riding on the smear here for you to know uh, what the answer is. Okay. Now let's just whip the answer choices. Choice A, CD15 positivity on B cells, wrong fucking answer, refers to Hodgkin lymphoma. Okay, so CD1530 positive B cells, those are Reed, Reed Sternberg cells. So made lots of clips on this stuff. They'll give you a teenager or young adult who's going to have at least a one month history of a painless lateral neck mass or facial swelling, which is lymphadenopathy. They always mention that. And then they throw in another detail, such as a mediastinal mass, which is not thymoma. That'll be mediastinal lymphadenopathy. They can say a patosplenomegaly. They can say a Verkhoff node, spelled Verkow node, trucyocytal malignancy, palpable left supraclavicular lymph node. But you're going to biopsy a lymph node looking for the Reed Sternberg cells. Wrong fucking answer. Show is B. And, and obviously, because we don't fucking have the Reed Sternberg cells here, right? So even if you don't know what's going on, just it's clearly not Hodgkin. Choice B, increased serum lambda, wrong fucking answer, refers to multiple myeloma. Okay, so you're going to have uh, an M protein spike on serum protein electrophoresis, which is going to be increased serum kappa or lambda light chains. Clearly not demographic in pediatrics, right? So multiple myeloma, classically patient over the age of 50, can have mid-back pain, hypercalcemia, nephrotic syndrome due to renal amyloidosis, Benz jones proteinuria, pepper pot skull, right? And then if we had a smear of this nature, we would have clock face chromatin, so plasma cells with clock face chromatin. Made plenty of clips on this as well. Wrong fucking answer. Choice C, pruritus, wrong answer. So this went a little bit more nebulous. Uh, in terms of hematology, could refer to polycythemia vera. Uh, they'll tell you that there's an increased hemoglobin in addition to uh, either white blood cells and or platelets elevated as well. They always give you the hemoglobin elevated, and then you can have platelets and or white blood cells, two or three of the cell lines elevated. They like giving you generalized pruritus after a shower due to basophilia, holy shit, okay? And you should know that you have oxygen saturations classically at 93, 94%. That's normal, okay? It's just because it's more difficult to saturate all the hemoglobin, but your oxygen content in the blood overall is going to be uh, normal. And you're going to have, uh, in order to decrease uh, symptomatology as far as hyperviscosity syndrome, you can do serial phlebotomy as the treatment. Wrong fucking answer. Choice D, single palmer crease. Correct answer. Okay, a little bit odd slash unusual of a question here. Diagnosis, ALL, acute lymphoblastic leukemia. You got a six-year-old. I, of course, didn't give you the leukocytes, right? But I mean, the smear here, This I jacked this image off of Wikipedia. This is very textbook. You just see these smooth... Okay, basophilic means purple. Basophilic lymphoblasts, this is a buzzy smear here. So students ask about images for step one. I mean, I'll link my heme PDF below. You got to know the images for the leukemias. So this is the ALL smear, just large, smooth, basophilic lymphoblasts. CML, you're going to have a motley mix, soup of all different types of cells. AML, you have the R rods. CLL, you can have smudge cells, okay? So I'll link the PDF in the comments below. But ALL um, can be associated with Down syndrome. So the thing is, even if you watching this clip say, but wait a second, what's the probability of, you know, they're actually being, uh, the patient actually having Down syndrome if we just simply have an ALL? Well, we eliminated to get there because the, all, the other answers are fucking wrong. Okay, I mean, the thymic lesion would presume that we have a, a tall, a T-cell ALL, not common, okay? The overwhelming majority of leukemias and lymphomas, for that matter, are B-cell in origin. If we had a T-cell variant, the question will give you an SVC-like syndrome, okay, Spira Vanikava like syndrome, where you get a positive Pimbertin sign. They might say there's congested neck veins, 
Okay, they might say there's puffiness or uh, erythema, flushing of the face. So they give you, if they had mentioned that in the question here, then we could conjecture as far as there being a thymic lesion, us having a tall variant, but we've eliminated to get there. And you need to know that uh, ALL can be seen in Down syndrome. You know the deal to make more content if you like my stuff, subscribe my channel. I appreciate your time. That's it.